So today Zeb's gonna be doing some odds and ends plumbing and I get to put up ship up because we have to get the ship lap up so we can put the, what are we doing? So we have to get the ship lap up so that we can put some valves on some of these lines that we've been running for the plumbing. That way we can turn the lines off without having to just cap them and then we can pressurize the system and see how that filter works. That's what I was gonna say, yeah. That whole plumbing situation. I didn't quite get to finishing this the other day, so we are back down here at the water main. I've got it wrapped with Teflon tape, and now I'm just adding this T plus two, is what it's called. I'm gonna screw that on. This goes to three quarter inch PEX, which I've got that already up here set up with a 90 down, so once I get this screwed on, the water main will be connected to the filter. So there wasn't a whole lot left to do the other day. I just ran out of parts and it was end of the day, so we're getting to it today. On something like this, you wanna just keep running it down until it is all the way tight. It is a good thing this PEX pipe is so easy to work with because I forgot to put in the shutoff valve on the water main. So when you're building, most toilets call for about 15 inches away from the center of the toilet bowl to the closest wall, whether it's front, back, or on the sides, and 30 inches from the center of the bowl to the nearest sanitary fixture or like your sink. So what we're doing is I'm just taking this here and roughing it in. I wanna leave about half an inch behind at least on my measurements because we're gonna be doing shiplap back behind here. Same with drywall if you were doing drywall. What I'm gonna do, since I have plenty of room on both sides, is just mark the center of the room. So I've got, it's 46 inches wide, so realistically I have 45 inches to work with because the shiplap is half an inch thick and we have to do two walls with that. So right there, roughly my center mark. So I'm gonna pull that forward. That'll still give me 30 inches from the center of my bowl to the sink. So since I have my toilet here, I'm just tracing where the base will sit. And then I'm marking the holes. Line up where my bolts are going. This is my toilet flange. So I'm just tracing this out so I know where the bolts go because I don't want to cut into that. So we are on to the drain system. I'm just using inch and a half ABS because that's what the main drain going to the sewer is in the house already is ABS. So I'm just gonna connect to that. And I'll be doing an automatic vent over here on the sink. The toilet will have a regular standard vent that goes up an inch and a half vent all the way out the top of the house. But the sink, I'm just gonna do this automatic vent right here. So I don't have to worry about connecting the venting system. It'll just be quick and easy. So before I go down into the crawl space, I'm gonna kind of lay it out and glue what I can together. That way there's less work to do down there in tight spaces. All right, so from the drain going down, I'm gonna 90 over, and then I'm gonna connect it in with this inch and a half adapter that goes to three inches, cause the toilet drain is three inches and I'm gonna connect them up there. So this is just a little pop out behind the toilet that'll eventually have the return air there. We've got our shiplap cut to shape. We're going ahead and using real wood shiplap because I wanted a more authentic look, but you can also get it in MDF. We are gonna make sure to put a ton of pressure on here so that way it's nice and flush. And then the tile will actually butt up right up against this and we'll get a nice seam. I'm using my battery operated nailer, but you could also use a hammer and some finishing nails as well. So we're roughly gonna have about 200 tiny little nail holes. And because I'm going for a more rustic farmhouse look, 
I'm not even gonna worry about filling them and honestly, because they're so small, I don't think they'll even show much. This one has a little bit of wobble. It's not perfectly straight. That happens when you're using real wood. So I'm gonna start over in the corner and push this along the way to straighten out my board. We're to the point where we've got water coming in here. So we marked where it needs to go. I'm using the Milwaukee drill with a, uh, whatever that is. What's it's, that, Seb? That's an inch and a half Forstner bit. With an inch and a half Forstner bit. And that, my friends, is how you drill a hole. Now that she's gotten that far, I can put the shutoff valve to the toilet on. This is the last board of shiplap before we bring it over this way so that way we can come up the wall here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and mark it this way. This is where to put it. So now you guys can visualize that this is where this part will stop and then there'll be a big cabinet that goes all the way up there that we can use as a linen cabinet. And so this wall will actually just be one tall wall visually, but we'll have air return down here, storage up here. All right, got the Teflon tape on here on this valve. Now that Jamie has shiplap this, just a little T plus two on these threads here. So there's a little bit of a gap. My hole's a little large, which I'm okay with. What I'll do is I'll get a flange that covers that and it'll be good to go. Almost ready for a toilet hook up there. Okay, so we are back to plumbing. I've got my three inch pipe going to the main sewer line that you can see down below here in the crawl space. It's gonna hook into this here with a 90 that I've gotta get hooked up and then run over here to the toilet where I'll have a pipe coming up and then the sink and then the sink will run over to the three inch pipe that drains to the toilet. I've gotta to get that up underneath there. So I put all the pieces together before I got down in the crawl space, as many as I could. This here will be the vent for the toilet coming up. I think it'll come right through this section here. So for the toilet, I'm gonna vent it right up through this stud wall here and just gonna drill a two inch hole that lines up with the angle I'm taking to hook up with the main drain. I had to push this over just a little bit to the very edge of the wall to cover that floor joist. So what I'll do is I'll put a metal flange right here where it's close down below. That way nothing will get nailed into that. Okay, so the water main outside is on. I've got this off. We're gonna open everything up and see if we've got any leaks, see how pressurized the system is. And I don't have any fixtures set up, so it'll just be on. I wanted to see if it runs through this filter okay. I've got the filter set up for the whole home filter from GE, and then it runs over to my cold water. And then this is my hot going out that will go over here to the hot water heater and then back over to the red manifold. None of the hot is currently hooked in, just the blue lines are hooked up. But that'll run the toilet and the sink until we can get the rest of the fixtures set up. So about to test it right here.
That filled up quick. Okay. Run it to the rest of the system, make sure there's no leaks. Okay, everything looks good here. It's all nice and pressurized. I'm gonna go upstairs and make sure we're not flooding anywhere up there, but so far, so good. This is all looking like it's holding up really well. All right, no leaks or drips anywhere in the system. I'm super happy about that. All of that work paid off. The PEX system is working as intended. Super easy to crimp together. I'm gonna test this valve right here. I'm not gonna drink this water. It says to run 40 gallons through the filter before you start using it. And I don't have any fixtures that drain out yet. I gotta get a sink and a toilet in here. So we'll wait to run our 40 gallons through. I just wanna make sure everything's working properly. Woohoo, we got working water. That's a good feeling. It's been a month and a half since this had water in this house. So we got some more plumbing, some shiplap, and then some more plumbing in, but all of the drains and plumbing for this main part of the house is done. I just have to hook up a few faucets and shutoff valves and we're ready for electrical. I'm super excited because I'm A, ready not to pee at the park, and B, ready to finish this bathroom. So our goal this week is to get the bathroom done as much as possible so we can check that off our list. And not pee at the park. And not pee at the park. Be sure to visit jamierayvintage.com for all your DIY and paint needs and our newest logo wear is up there if you need any swag. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Hit the subscribe button.